equation using x and y intercepts. So we just discussed how to find x and y intercepts, and now we're going to apply that in order to graph this equation. First, I'm going to find the x intercept, and I'm going to let y equal 0. My equation is 6x minus 8y equals 48. So my y value will be 0. And that's going to give me 6x minus 0 equals 48. So my y term dropped out, and I have 6x equals 48. Isolate the variable x by dividing both sides by 6, and I get x equals 8. So x equals 8 is my x-intercept. Now, the coordinate pair for that is going to be that x equals 8 and y equals 0. So at this point, x equals 8 and y equals 0. That's the x-intercept. Next, I'm going to find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. I'm going to go back to that original equation, and I'm going to take 6 times 0 minus 8y equals 48. This gives me 6 times 0 is 0, so my x drops out, and I get negative minus 8y equals 48. To isolate the y, I divide both sides by negative 8, giving me y equals negative 6. So that is my y-intercept. Okay, so that means that my y-intercept is going to be down here at negative 6. So my x-intercept is here, my y-intercept is here, and now that I've got two points, I can graph this line. So remember, the value for the x-intercept is x is 8, y is 0. The value for the y-intercept is that y is 0 and x is negative 6. So they asked me to graph this equation using x and y-intercepts. I first found the x-intercept by letting y equal 0, substituting 0 for y in the equation, and determining that the x-intercept is 8. I then plotted that on the graph at the point 8, 0. For the y-intercept, I let x equal 0, substituted 0 in the original equation for x, and determined that y equals negative 6. So my second point is at 0, negative 6, and I can connect those two points with a line. So today we worked with linear equations, including the standard form of the equation and determining if an equation is in fact linear. And finally, we use the x and y intercepts to graph some points. Thanks for visiting educator.com.